Hey there, YouTube. And I said I'd do a little bit of follow-up with and a little bit of documentation. They were building our latest winter storm for us here in Iowa, DeSoto, Iowa, uh, to be exact, right here in central Iowa. And um, just thought I'd give you a, sh a sight of how they layer it up there and use the sun to uh, do some of the work for them uh, when it comes to modifying your weather. Uh, with the right chemical compounds and atmospheric conditions and uh, they create those conditions as well and uh, bingo bingo you get a snowstorm eventually and uh, out there come trailing pretty good today and uh, so I just thought it'd be worth coming out here and getting some of the pics there of the overall uh, result uh, what happens in your sky my sky particularly and uh, a lot going out there on you know in the world today and uh, I've touched on a few points when I'm out there uh, you know in the blogosphere I guess you could say and uh, got Ukraine popping off and uh, US and Russia bumping heads and let me tell you folks uh, it's uh, no joke uh, what's going on so uh, you know please uh, pray uh, for the Ukraine there also, uh, uh, there's a person out there, uh, you know, that I like and I follow, but uh, lately he's been calling out on some stuff, and uh, I really want him to prove it this time around. And uh, it's kind of like a cry wolf uh, situation, and uh, people are getting a little exasperated on that. And that's why the Bible says, you know, the end will come when you think not, because, you know, people think, oh, you said, you know, the end will come, and before, and... Uh, it's like it's never going to happen, and so people, you know, just eat, drink, and be merry for their for their lives. And people should be happy. People should be facing this with love and not fear. And uh, yeah, can these events happen? Yes. Have they happened before? Yes. Are they going to happen again? Yes. But when you're out there stating, you know, and setting dates, and and you could do that with if you get the right information. And I'm following it very closely, but you know. Uh, the earth can take a lot, folks, and uh, the Bible says, you know, there's no end of the world, okay, it's just a change of the guard, so, uh, people will be pounding their uh, swords into plows, you know, and uh, I kind of see the beginning of that uh, when you got uh, the thing going on in uh, New Mexico, and with that whip facility, our militaries are going to grind to a halt, folks. Okay, they're dependent upon nuclear power, their subs and their ships. And they'll support ships too, and uh, also our nuke plants, you know, our power plants, okay. Uh, you have nowhere to put that spent fuel. Uh, eventually, you are not going to be able to operate an op uh, a functioning facility, no matter how modern it might be. And uh, at least not for very long. And uh, so the problem we're having is that these accidents are happening all over, and they are happening all over Paducah, Kentucky. I was on my home page. That's why I just leave it up there to remind people, hey, a tornado hit that place. That's one of our two places there in New Mexico. There's a few other places, uh, uh, but these particularly handle plutonium and weapons grade, things of that nature. And, uh, and so they try to save these facilities instead of doing what is right and, and uh, with the right way to process it, and uh, but you know, here we go. Um, uh, Putin and Obama, you know, bumping heads. Uh, you know, that's uh, pretty uh, neat to watch. Where uh, Putin has made it virtually impossible for him and his uh, or. Obama and his cronies to show up in his nation at all by passing this anti-homosexuality law stating uh, it's a crime to be homosexual so you know Obama's aides and uh, staffers you know are, a lot of them have the alternative lifestyle and uh, so you know Obama can't show up without it without a staff and so I guess he can't show up at all there in, in Russia so uh, I think that's the motivation behind that rule because I really don't think that Putin uh, likes Obama at all. So uh, I think it's the motivation behind that law just to keep him out of his countries, including the Ukraine. 
Uh, I know Ukraine is independent but of that law, but still, uh, it's hard to do diplomacy if you're not doing it face to face. And uh, that's the way we used to be with Iran, and now we're that way with Russia. So pay very close attention to what's uh, going on behind the scenes on some of the stuff like Ukraine, uh, Syria, Iran uh, is going to become an issue soon. Uh, I think uh, Putin is going to make sure of that. And he's also supporting uh, Syria and Egypt, okay, uh, promising Egypt a lot of military aid uh, in return for putting a huge military base there in Egypt. So, can you light my cigarette out here? Yeah, that's why I don't gripe about a lot of health effects <laughs> of some of the stuff that's going on. Uh, that's a pretty little look there of how they're layering it up. Like I said, it warmed up today. Uh, I feel like I'm cooling off though, I and mean, we had snowpack today. All this was under about four inches of snow and ice. So, uh, uh, melted it all off as you can see around. Uh, Cross street, things of that nature. You can see the pack that they, where the sun didn't hit, but where the sun did hit, this is all in the sun and melted it all off. And uh, so that sun is warm. We've been in the cooler though, and in, in, in negative territory as far as temperatures have been concerned here in Iowa. And uh, so today was 32, and it's like shorts weather. <laughs> um, so, yes, yeah, finding ways to stay warm. Here comes one of my neighbors that I don't like very much. <laughs> Watch, he'll probably cuss me or something. So yeah, he's out here uh, enjoying the few hours of uh, what we call warm air freezing. <laughs> so, uh, thank you. Should I get this on tape? This guy's trying to drive up my uh, yard here. <laughs> He's friends with my father-in-law. So yeah, a beautiful view on those clouds. Getting ready for the snowstorm, like I said. After uh, all this weekend, starting tonight, and Saturday, Sunday, six, seven inches. Going back into the single digits and uh, won't see 30 degrees for another week or so. <laughs> Iowa weather? No, I just think, you know, 2014 Ice Age perhaps. That's uh, what it feels like here. Uh, we, ha we, don't, we haven't been above freezing since November, hardly. So uh, we had a couple of warm days, yeah. But, you know, mostly below zero. Single digits, teens, you know. Very cold. Actually, I have my door open now to let it air out. There, get just exchange the air every once in a while. But you got to be careful nowadays, you know. You know what's in our air? <laughs> it's better just to keep your doors locked up tight. You know, you know to live as Christ and to die as gain. You know. So I love you all folks. Take care. Have a good day.